in here there's a bunch. Uh, and what's in there are these things. Different sizes. And those are for, uh, they're clench rings. So they will go uh, behind fasteners, bronze fasteners that will be fastened into, say, the hanging knees and other knees in the, in the boat. Uh, we have two different sizes that we're doing today. We are doing these seven eighths and we also have half inches. Both of our half inch pattern molds are in being in use. So once I pull this off, I'll be able to show you the, the mold that's in here and kind of what's left with the negative space. And we're starting with an aluminum. We're getting the furnace going. Uh, we use propane and waste vegetable oil as a uh, fuel source. Uh, at, when the furnace actually gets hot enough, we can turn the propane off and just run it up pure on waste vegetable oil. Pretty cool, nice, less carbon footprint on our end. Um, and it actually, the furnace burns hotter with the, the vegetable oil. just riddling this first layer because it goes right up against the pattern itself. We want it to get as much detail as possible. And in case there's like little, even though we've already riddled this when we reconstituted, there might be like random things that fell through. So we don't want that up against our mold itself. This first layer, I don't ram right against it. I just kind of naturally like just gently pat so it's not moving. The next layers, I will actually start ramming because we want to get it really packed nice and hard so that when the metal goes in, it's not getting dislodged uh, and that the sand is staying nice and tight up against uh, so that when the metal goes in there, it's going to actually like catch what we want to cast. This is a stack of seven eighths. So we've got uh, six per part line. So six, 12. So we got 30 in this box because um, we've got five stacks, which is awesome. So we're doing just, we'll pour in through a cup up top here. And then that channel goes all the way through to the next one, to the next one, to the next one. Um, and I can show you, I can lift this one up so you can see what kind of looks like inside. Right. So that cup up on the top, then goes down, it'll fill this one, it'll go down to the next one, fill the next one. That way we can kind of maximize um, the forward. amount that we can get per pour. Careful not to, I might flip it over, not to disrupt too much. 
I did kind of bump the pattern forward, but well, hopefully not too much. Nope, it's pretty good. Nice thing about a pattern board, right? Is they're all gonna be the same. It's perfect. Yeah, thank you, Andrew. That's gonna be great for our next step. So I'm just gonna get this out of the way. That's my little guide right there of where I want my screw to go. It's a little indent, that way I can make sure because all these boxes line up together uh, and are kind of geared together. So then I know where this needs to go. So we're just gonna get this down there easily. disrupted that a little bit but I don't care because all that gets cut off anyways I just don't want any loose sand because if the metal goes in there it'll disrupt the sand and the sand could get into the, uh, the mold itself or, or casting rather because it's so cold and there's moisture we've been doing this little sugar water mixture that will go on the casting itself uh, so that when the Hot metal goes in there if the moisture in the water, I mean in the sand, will sort of make a nice little shell. got the other stuff and then came back out. Like, yeah, literally, about that. It like, did. by the time it even gets to the bottom. 